So you've downloaded a file. Most likely, if you're watching this channel, it's for Minecraft, but hello to all the non-Minecraft viewers who are having issues with Java as well. And maybe the file does have this Java icon on it. Maybe it's just a piece of paper. Maybe it uh, is a WinRAR file or something like that. All of that's gonna be fixed here. And even if it does look like this, and when you right click and try to open it, Java's not here. How do we fix this? Well, of course we need to download and install Java. Now, specifically right now that's Java 17 and in the future it might change. And if this link's changed, it's just because Java's updated and there's a new basically accepted version out there. And we always keep this up to date with the most recent version. And this link, by the way, is the second link in the description. And it's an in-depth text guide on getting Java. It covers troubleshooting issues and different questions you may have as well as downloading and installing Java, which we're gonna be going over that in this video as well. Once you're here though, go ahead and click on this yellow download Java button to go to the official Java download page. Java, by the way, distributed by Oracle. Now there is a JDK 20, but it's not as accepted currently as JDK 1 or 17. So that's what we're going to be getting here. Just know this is Java 17 and Java 20. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. But nevertheless, what platform are we using? Linux, Mac OS, or Windows? In this video, we're using Windows. So we want to make sure we select that. And then next to X64 installer here, we want to click on this link. That will then download a JDK17.exe file here. You may need to keep or save it depending on your browser, but most likely you're good to go. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is locate that file we downloaded. Now for me, that's going to be in my downloads folder here. I'm going to move it to the desktop just for this tutorial, but you could do this right out of your downloads folder. So now all we want to do is double click on this JDK 17 file we downloaded. It's then going to open up the Java installer. Now you may get a user account control prop up where you have to accept, yes, you want to open Java. Java is distributed by Oracle, massive company, and it is one 100% safe to go ahead and yes, open this without any issue. Nevertheless, go ahead and click on next here and then just go through the installer right like so. Good thing about Java these days, it doesn't try to install anything else but Java itself. So you can just kind of click through and then go ahead and click close. Now, you may have Optifine looking like mine. It might look good. Your file, whatever Java file, .jar file might look like mine. You should be able to right click it, click on open with, select Java, click OK and open the Java program like we just did. But if for whatever reason your file's still broken, you can't double click on it, which we can do now as well. How do you fix that? Well, you need Jarfix, and this is in the description. This video covers everything, but it's basically a simple program that you download, you run it, and it links the jar files on your computer, like Optifine here, like another jar application that you want to install, back to Java. That's where, if it's a WinRAR file, it's a piece of paper, it's a notepad looking file, doesn't matter what it is, you'll probably still be able to right click on it, open with, and then find Java here and select it and open it. But if you just want to double click, you need to run the Jarfix to link jars back to Java instead of WinRAR or another application. But there you have it. That's how you can get Java 17. But before we end this video, how about a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server. It supports vanilla Minecraft. It supports modded Minecraft, mod packs, plugins, all of that. And if you do have any issues along the way, we have amazing live chat support to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH for all of your Minecraft hosting needs. I'm glad we could get Java solved for you. Let me know in the comments if you got any questions. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.